just your first impression. What do you see? What are you experiencing? It changed. Mm-hmm. It changed. That's fine. What did it change to? Tell me I what you're seeing. It's like a, like a stream or a river. Mm-hmm. A stream or a river. Tell me more. Are you at this place or just observing it? I'm on it. You're on it. Mm hmm. Tell me how you're on this stream. I'm watching the stream. You're watching it. From what perspective are you watching it? Above, from the side? Side. Mm hmm. Very good. Look around yourself and see what else is there besides the stream. What else do you imagine to be there? Grass, trees. Mm hmm. Birds. Mm hmm. Can you hear the birds? They're in the sky. They're in the sky. Very good. And where are you? The grass. Mm hmm. Very good. So look down at yourself <clears throat> and see if you can find your feet. Do you feel like you have a body there? I don't see a body. Mm hmm. It's fine. I want you to put in front of you. It's like an imaginary spiritual mirror. <clears throat> and this mirror will reflect back what you look like. So look at this mirror in front of you. What do you see? Do you have a form? I'm not sure. What do you see reflected in the mirror? Perhaps there's a light, a form. When I first looked down, mm -hmm. I wanted to say I have webbed feet. Mm -hmm. Focus on it and see what they look like. What color are they? First thing I thought was orange. Mm -hmm. Good. You're doing well. Very good. So now that you can see your feet, I'd like for you to Envision the rest of your body. What does it feel like? Does it feel small or large? How does it feel? I feel like my height now. Mm -hmm. Very good. So describe your body. What does it feel like? I have legs. Mm-hmm. How long are these legs? I feel like a person. Mm-hmm. What else do you feel? A person with web feet? What keeps popping in my head is like a duck or a chicken. A duck or a chicken. Very good. But you feel like a person? Yes. Mm hmm. Let's see what you look like, your body looks like. Always trust your first impression. 
Do you have a color to you? White. White. Mm -hmm. What is your skin like? Scales. Scales. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I don't know what I am. Look at your face. I want you to just imagine your face. You can use that mirror to look into. I feel female. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what features do you have? Take a look at your eyes and your mouth, and your nose. Big eyes. Big eyes. Mm -hmm. what, what shape are they in? Like circles. Like circles. Okay. Do you have a nose? <laughs> it's like two holes. Two holes. Mm-hmm. What about your mouth? I feel like I'm a chicken or a duck. Mm hmm What does your mouth look like? It's, it's like a beak. Like a beak. Mm hmm So you feel like a chicken or a duck, a tall one? Yes. <clears throat> and you have scales instead of feathers? It's like... You ever pluck a chicken? Mm-hmm. Like this, that? Like that bumpy looking, mm -hmm. not like hard scales. Yes. It's like a bumpy looking. Mm hmm Very good. Are you wearing any attire? How does it feel? I feel like this is just my body. Just your body. Very good. Do you feel young or old there? An adult. An Not adult. old. Mm -hmm. An adult. Very good. So now that you've acclimated yourself in your body, let's see what you're doing there by this little stream. I look to the right mm -hmm. and it's like a child playing. Mm -hmm. What does this child look like? Like a bird, like. Mm -hmm. But it's a child mm -hmm. near the stream. Yes, like a child bird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does this child have hands or does it have wings? Or is it a combination? I feel like it's a combination. Uh huh. It has. I feel like it has wings, but they're like, like, on its like side, mm -hmm. towards the back. But it has hands. Good. Do you have the same? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Who is this child? Brother? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with him out in the stream? Enjoying nature? Mm -hmm. Are you both playing or are you just watching him? I'm just enjoying. I like the streams. Mm -hmm. The you, sound. The sound of it. Very good. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> he shows me something. He comes to me. Mm -hmm. I want to say it was a frog that he showed me. Mm -hmm. It's a boy. The child is a boy. Yes. Does he have a name? <clears throat> I 
Iguak. Iguak. Mm-hmm. That's his name. What does he call you? <laughs> Listen for your name when he calls you. I don't know if that's right. Mm-hmm. Tell me. It's a normal name. Mm-hmm. What is it? It's weird. His name is Iguac. Mm-hmm. What's yours? Mm-hmm. Listen for your name, not not your mind. Spell it out. Is it an interesting name? It sounds too American, so I don't want to say it. Say, trust your first impression? Nancy. Nancy. Good. When I say Nancy to you, does that resonate? So let's close that scene and let's now go to the place where you live in that lifetime. See the place where you live and tell me what it looks like. A dome. A dome. Mm hmm. What's it made out of? It's a smooth surface. Mm hmm. It's white. Mm hmm. <coughs> I wouldn't say plastic, but it's a smooth white surface. Yes. Does it have any openings? Yes. Mm hmm. What kind of openings do they have? Like a an arch. An arch. Mm hmm. Is this for a door? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Does it have any windows or openings anywhere else? Just like those small arches small. alongside. Mm -hmm. How do you get into this place? Walk through the main arch mm -hmm. way. So let's go inside and tell me what's there. First thing I thought was table. Mm -hmm. Look around. What else is in this place besides a table? Fireplace? Mm hmm. What else? Do you see any place to sleep, for example? What's coming to your mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. What's it look like? I feel like this is like... It's a laying surface. Mm -hmm. Above the ground. Mm -hmm. It's on the ground, but it's high up. Yes. What do you see? I want to say there's hay coming out. Like, mm -hmm. this is weird. Like a little nest? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is something supporting it? This hay? It's just a, like a wooden structure. Mm -hmm. Can you see how you lie in this? Climb. 
climb up the little stairs next to it and just like here. Mm-hmm. And you feel the hay underneath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Do you see any other structures in this place for others to sleep in? No. Mm -hmm. Is it large enough for others to sleep with you? I just picture myself. Mm -hmm. Do you imagine anybody else living in this dome with you? I want to say family, but I don't see where they mm -hmm. sleep. Okay. So close that scene now, and let's open that scene to where other family members are with you, perhaps eating. I think it's a community. Okay. Are there other domes around? Yes. Mm-hmm. Where we all, we make our own food. Okay. We garden. Yes. You it's like a family community. Mm -hmm. So I guess like the, sh the dome is my actual like room. Mm -hmm. Like it's for you only. Yes, but family can come in and out. Okay. And they have their own domes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look around you and see how many domes you see. Cluster. Mm. Do you see any activity with others there? Just kids running. Just kids? And they all look the same? Yeah. I just keep thinking about a garden. Like, I s s people are tending to the garden of mm -hmm. uh, vegetables. Let's find out what vegetables are in this garden. First thing I thought was corn. Corn. Mm hmm. What else do you see? Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Carrot. I thought of purple, so I thought of eggplant. Mm -hmm. Does it look like? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the type of food that you eat? Yes. Okay, very good. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go ahead to another significant scene in your lifetime. Something that impacted you. Be there now. Where are you? Look around. What are you experiencing? On a boat? Mm hmm. Tell me more. I don't know how I got here. Mm hmm. Okay. Are you in the same body? Tell me more. What do you see? What do you see? It looks like a storm. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Yeah. What kind of a boat is this? Large or small? Oh, it's large. Mm hmm. Like a ship? Yes. Mm-hmm. I think it's wooden. Mm-hmm. 
Are you in the same body? I don't think so. Okay. Tell me how you feel. Look down at your body and tell me. First thing I thought was a man. Mm -hmm. Then I look at my skin and it's white. You're a white male? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 30s. Mm -hmm. What are you doing on this ship? I'm just standing here looking over the edge. Mm -hmm. But it's the edge not into the water, it's the edge looking onto the lower deck. Yes. What's happening? There's a lot of movement, people. What kind of people are on, on, on this ship? Look at how everybody is dressed. How are these people dressed? Are they working here? Are they passengers? There's some workers, passengers. As yes. Well. How are the passengers dressed? What do they look like? I think of upscale. Mm -hmm. Think of. Are there any women on this? Yes. What are they? What do they look like? What What are they wearing? Poofy? Mm-hmm. Poofy dresses? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm dressed in something like a tail jacket suit. Mm-hmm. But my, my pants are in boots. Mm-hmm. Take a look at your hair. How long is your hair there? It's dark and it's in the back ponytail. Mm -hmm. Is it long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you feel that you are on that ship? Are you a passenger? Or are you part of the crew? I'm not a crew member. I'm not working. Mm -hmm. Passenger. You're a passenger. Let's see. let's see where it is that you're going. Where are you? What's the first thing that comes into your mind? I'm going to snap my finger and when I do, you'll come up with a place. I've been thinking England, but... Mm -hmm. Did you come from England? Is that where you live? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you're going. Where are you heading to there? South America. Mm -hmm. Are you there for pleasure or for business? Business. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do? Trade. Mm -hmm. What do you trade? I don't know. I see crates. I see them taking stuff off the ship. Mm -hmm. Are these your crates from your business? Yes. Mm -hmm. What emotions are you feeling as you're going there? Uncertain but confident. Mm -hmm. Have you been here before? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's move ahead to see what it is that you're trading 
and what the purpose of your visit here. Allow yourself to go forward in time. What's happening? all around you, take it in. Is this my life? What's happening? I can't help you if you don't tell me. What do you see? What are you feeling? What's in those crates? Maybe... He's... taking... people. Mm-hmm. What you ask? Acclimate yourself to that body. Your thoughts will merge. Don't edit anything out. Tell me what's happening. What emotions you're feeling. Confusion. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. What do you see? Tell me everything you see. Looking around, mm -hmm. I see people. I see white people. Mm -hmm. And then? But I feel like I was sent here to get people. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens. Allow yourself to go through that lifetime. Let's find out how you get people. First word I thought was sleep. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Just take them on the ship. Mm -hmm. And I saw crates earlier. Don't try to figure it out. Just tell me what happened. What do you see? There's others like me. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Gathering people. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? Brown. Mm -hmm. What country are you in? <laughs> I thought Panama. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How are these? I think I deliver people. I tra I... You trade people? For goods. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. How does it work? Don't think about it. Just tell me. I think it's a bid. Allow me to go on your journey with you. Don't leave me behind. What are you seeing? I don't want to see. It's 
You need to see it. We need to heal this. We need to heal this, and the only way to heal it is to uncover it, to expose it. Then we could heal it. But you need to allow me to go on this journey so that we can heal this and heal all of those who are part of this journey. Tell me what you're seeing. Back on the ship. Mm-hmm. Throwing bodies off the ship? Mm-hmm. I guess they were sick. Mm-hmm. They died. What else do you see? I don't think I'm happy doing this. Mm-hmm. Very good. Go into your emotions and tell me what you're feeling as this is happening. As this man. This isn't right. Mm-hmm. Tell me what else you see there. I feel like it's all men on this ship right now. It's all men? I don't feel like there's women. Mm-hmm. The women pastures have gone off. Mm-hmm. I think so. So now the ship is left to do what it meant to do? To go back. Mm -hmm. Home? mm -hmm. How many people are on this now? I thought 20. 20 men. 20. I don't see the slaves. I saw maybe they're somewhere else below. I'm on top. Let's find out where the others are. <laughs> They're still in the crates. They're in the crates? Like the, the large crates. Mm-hmm. So there are people inside of these crates? Yes. Mm-hmm. How many crates do you see? There's a row. There's two rows, mm-hmm. and I can walk through the middle. Mm-hmm. What do you? There's do? holes in the crate so they can breathe. Mm-hmm. How many people are in each crate? There's. They shouldn't have that many people. How many are in there? thought 10, but it shouldn't. There's 10 people. Maybe it could fit seven or six people comfortably. Mm-hmm. There are 10? Mm-hmm. How are they fitting in there? They're standing up this whole time. Mm-hmm. Just side by side. What are they saying when you're down there? I don't know. They speak a different language. Mm-hmm. What do you get from them? Connect with them telepathically. They're frightened. Mm-hmm. What are you getting from this? That is not right. So close that scene now. Close that scene and let's go to another scene in that lifetime. Another scene that impacted you. Be there now. Where are you? Back home. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with someone else? I thought of wife and child. Mm -hmm. Look around you. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors is a nice big house. Mm -hmm. 
chandeliers. Mm -hmm. I have a, it's a little girl. The money I make provides this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your lifestyle? I love my family. But I don't like what I do. Mm -hmm. Do you have any help in your in your life? Perhaps someone that you picked up? Did I befriend a slave? Maybe? Mm -hmm. I want you to see. If I did as a guy. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who he is. Does he live there with you? No. Mm -hmm. He works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bathroom. Yes, I'm going to, in a moment, touch your shoulder, and that'll be the indication for you to open your eyes. You'll remain in this beautiful trance, and when you come back, you'll be in the same spot, going even deeper than you are now. Eyes open. Where are you? Please. I feel like there's a courtyard at this place. Mm-hmm. This the is house. At your house. And I feel like the slave that I befriended doesn't live here but works here. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what he does. What comes to mind? I think of like servant. Mm -hmm. Butler. Black um, with the white apron. I just picture him with drinks on a tray, a mm -hmm. silver tray. Mm -hmm. And you see his eyes? Yes. Take a look at his eyes and see if you recognize him in the life of Bo. See if he's, he feels familiar to you. What's the first impression you get when you look at his eyes? Does he feel familiar? What are you getting? Anything? What do you get from him when you look at his eyes? When you asked me to look in his eyes, the first name that I heard that popped up into my mind was Shane. Mm -hmm. but Very good. Very good. So let's find out what happens next. He's just a good friend. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else are you getting from this? Whatever thoughts you have, just pop them out. I don't think he's happy working as a servant. Mm -hmm. He loves my family. He likes... He's torn. He misses home. He... Do 
Does he tell you these things? Or are you getting it from him? I look at him. Mm -hmm. What emotions are you feeling as you're watching this? I feel sad. I have my family. I feel like I traded my freedom for his his freedom. Mm -hmm. Is there any else, anything else from the scene that's significant? No, I don't see anything. Okay, let's close that scene. Let's move ahead. When something else very significant is happening in that lifetime, allow yourself to move ahead. Find a time when something is happening. My wife is sick. Your wife is sick. Mm-hmm. Same friend, servant is still there. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Daughter? Like, we're around the bed. There's also a, a maid. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I think we're saying our goodbyes. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling there? I feel sad, but I just thought, like, why wasn't he freed? Mm -hmm. Why wasn't the guy, why wasn't he freed? Is he supposed to be freed? Not in this. Society. Mm -hmm. So take me through this and see what's important about this day. While you're here. Because. He was there for my family. Mm-hmm. Even at the end? Yes. And for my wife. Mm-hmm. He cared for my daughter. Very good. Let's close that scene and let's move further. Move further in time. You're a lot older now. Look around you. What's going on? <laughs> It's him and my daughter. Mm -hmm. She's not old, but older. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'm old. And I'm in the bed. I think I'm dying. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about as you're lying in that bed? I 
I feel grateful mm-hmm. for my family, but and he's my family. Mm-hmm. That although he cho- he did not choose to be here. He wanted to be. Mm-hmm. So go to the end when you're make, taking your last breath, and as you're looking at this man, what vows have you made? What ideas have come into your mind about your relationship with him? What are you thinking about as you transition? I will no longer treat my freedom for anyone else's. Mm So take your last breath there. What are you feeling? I feel like I was closer to him than my my family. Mm-hmm. Very good. Take your last breath. And as you transition out of that body, I want you to think about what the purpose was, what the mission was of that lifetime. Why were you there? I think it has a big lesson to do with freedom. Mm Mm-hmm. What were you supposed to learn? What comes to mind when you think about why you chose that lifetime? Hmm. I just keep thinking freedom. Freedom, very good. And what lessons did you learn in that lifetime? I shouldn't trade someone else's freedom. Mm-hmm. For my own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now as you begin to transition, I want you to go deep inside of you and tell me if your heart is heavy. Or if it's light. I'm okay. Good. Do you accept what happened in that lifetime? Yes. Can you forgive yourself for taking part in this? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's continue on that journey. Allow your your soul to move away from that body and tell me where you go to. What happens? I just think of white light. Mm-hmm. So let's follow that white light. Allow yourself to follow it. And tell me everything that you see along the way. I don't know if I'm walking or floating. Mm-hmm. It feels light. Mm-hmm. Well, go ahead and just. Doesn't matter which way you go. Tell me what you experience. Hmm. Look around you. What do you see? First word popped into my head. It was tunnel. Tunnel. Very good. White. A white, white tunnel. Tunnel. Mm-hmm. So let's go through that white tunnel. What do 
what do you experience? I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you're going. What's on the other side of that tunnel? <laughs> what do you see? Family? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What family do you see? It was the wife. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it took me to get to this place. Because mm -hmm. I. What do you see there? I feel like it's not the same family. Mm -hmm. Like. Don't don't analyze it. Just tell me what you see. The daughter and the man, mm -hmm. and the wife. Mm -hmm. There's other people. I just don't recognize them. How are these people presented to you? What do you see? The face that I remember the mask. Mm -hmm. Are they dressed in any particular way? It's just like I don't see their body. It's just. They're clothed, they're like clothed in white, mm -hmm. flowy light? Yes, white, flowy light. What impression do you get from them? They've been waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Who else do you see there? Besides your family. Do you see a friend? can recognize them. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Do they look different? I don't see a face. Mm -hmm. But you recognize their vibration, their frequency. When we don't have a body, we're just frequency. You'll be able to recognize them as soon as you see them. You'll know it. In this place, you just use your knowing. Who else do you recognize in this place? Anybody else? No. Okay. So I'd like for you to continue on your journey through that tunnel. And I'd like for you to find your guide or your counsel. Whichever one appears first. It could appear as anything. Allow yourself to go through this place and find them. But tell me what you experience. into a room. Mm -hmm. What does the room look like? I want to say gray stone, but that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Is it a large place? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's in this room. Look around you. What do you see? I don't think I trust my first impressions. Mm -hmm. I trust them. What do you see? A table, mm -hmm. a screen. Mm-hmm. What else? 
You do great. What else? I want to say I feel my guide's presence, mm -hmm. but I don't see my guide. That's okay. You don't need to see him. What happens now? I have to be shown my life. Mm -hmm. How are you? Sh how are you shown your life? A screen. All right. Do you sit down at this place, at this table? What do you do? I don't know if I'm sitting down, but I know you. I think you can. Okay. So how do you view this? The screen. I'm told to watch the screen. Just look at it. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you see. What are you experiencing? Uh. Moments of my life. Mm -hmm. Slave trader popped in my mind. Mm -hmm. My actions. How I provided for my family. How I recognized the harm. How I befriended. I don't know his name. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What else are you showing? What do you that's, th that's the most of it. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens after this. What happens after you see this? I want you to connect with your guides telepathically, mind to mind. You will hear their thoughts. What are you being told? Life is precious. Mm -hmm. What? What else? You can make the best out of a situation, even if it's not a, a good one. What else? Family. I don't know, family mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. Mm. What else? Is, is there anything else that they would like to tell you about or give you some guidance on? I feel like I'm blocking. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. Let's find out why you're blocking. If you knew the answer to that, what would it be? I don't trust myself. Mm -hmm. And where does this come from? Not trusting yourself. The 
does this have to do with any choices that you've made in the past? Any mistakes? Mm. I'm not being shown anything. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Let's just leave that scene. Allow that man to continue on his journey. He'll find peace. He'll find what he's supposed to find. I know you could have shown many different lifetimes to Bo today. Why did you show her the one about that duck person? What was that all about? Is this a different planet or dimension? Was it just to lighten her up? What was the reason for showing her that? She likes nature. She likes nature. Mm -hmm. Is that where it comes from? Part of it. Mm -hmm. She never finished that lifetime. So what was the message? Was the message she was supposed to hear? She needs nature to ground herself. Mm -hmm. So this life of Nancy as this duck being, was this on a different planet? Dimension? A different dimension. Was it here on Earth? It resembles Earth. Resembles. It's a different place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you chose to show her this life as a slave trader. That was hard she for her. She values freedom. Mm hmm. Is that why? She, she needs to understand the importance. The importance of freedom? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was a hard life for her to watch. What is she getting from it now that she's seen that? To free others. Mm -hmm. How can she do that? Befriending them? Mm hmm. By befriending these people, how does that give them freedom? When you give love, people are free, people uh -huh. are set free. People mm hmm. So is her mission in life to give love? Yes. Okay. When we first started this session, she got a flash over her right eye. What is that flash? Her guides? Mm-hmm. What are her guides trying to tell her when they flash in front of her? 
<laughs> to trust. To trust. So don't worry about the f fact that she's seeing these flashes. That's just them. No. Yes. Okay. So they're just messing with her, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like we're here. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. They're always here. Good. How many of these guys does she have? About ten. Ten of them. Ten. Hmm, that's a that's a big entourage that she walks around with. Ten. Twenty of them have names or expertise that she should know about. Hmm. Expertise and confidence. Uh huh. They're working they, on her confidence. They give her confidence. Okay. She has it. Mm hmm. They help her. Good. Is that one of the th main things they're working on her? With that? Give her confidence. Internal confidence, belief in herself. Mm hmm. Part of the, the doubting, the no doubting. Yes. Good. Uh, she said that she, one time she heard the word Nefertiti in her head. She asked, who am I? And she said, and they, it was told, Nefertiti. She's never heard of that before. Can you tell her who Nefertiti is? Or would you like to show her that life so she can see it? Uh, would that be better? She wouldn't trust it. <laughs> well, let's try. Give her a picture of, of who she is as Nefertiti. What is Nefertiti wearing? I see gold. Mm hmm. Where do you see this gold? Let's see, I don't know if. Just your first impression. Where is the gold? I don't want to know. What feels, what do you feel when you feel a Nefertiti? What comes up? Egypt, but that's, I've, that, Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I'm coming to myself and I'm making all of this up. <laughs> Have a great time making it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just... Um, what do you see? I think of Nile River. I think the of Nile River. Mm -hmm. I think of just being adorned mm -hmm. in like gold, mm -hmm. but also a gold robe that flows in the back like a cape. Mm -hmm. I think of walking along the river. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to make sense. Let's just have fun on this journey. How old is Nefertiti? How old are you there? You young or old? I see. I feel like I'm younger, but I appear older. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Enjoying the walk by the river. Hmm. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on your head, Nefertiti? Mm -hmm. 
a golden piece. A golden piece. Is it heavy? I'm used to it. You're used to it. Very good. Tell me, Nefertiti, if there's any interesting features about your body. Do you look any different than anybody else? The workers. The workers? Mm hmm. Do you look any different? Perhaps your hands, or your head, or your feet. Anything different about you? I feel like I look normal, but then I thought of big head. You have a big head? Mm hmm. How does your head look? Do you have any hair? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's your hair like? I think it's long and flowy, but it's not bun. It's in a bun. Mm -hmm. the river. Okay. Little river. So let's see why you're being shown this life. Tell me about your life. I think of Regal and I think of still in love with nature. Mm hmm. Still in love with nature. Very good. And I think, I think of slavery. Mm hmm. Was I a slave? No. I think. I wasn't, but I was. Mm. Tell me in what way, if you're regal, do you feel enslaved? When you enslave others, you enslave yourself. Okay. So do you feel that like you're enslaving others? I feel like this land is built on it. Mm hmm. Land is built on those slaves. Those slaves. slaves. Mm -hmm. Do you own these slaves? I want to say my family does. Your family does. Very good. Is there anything else important about this scene, Nefertiti, that you would like to tell me about, about your life? I think I'm happy. I think even though there's chaos, I still find peace. Very good. Thank you very much. Allow yourself to leave that woman she will find peace, she will find what she's looking for. Let me speak with her higher self. Now that she's seen herself as Nefertiti, it seems to be the same pattern as a slave trader, in a way. <laughs> she you... runs from everything that makes her feel not free. Yes. And when you enslave others, you enslave yourself. And that yes. seems to be why she didn't want to see that life. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. She also does not believe. It's okay. She doesn't have to believe. She could just feel it in her soul. Her soul will know the truth. How can she strengthen her connection with these guides that she has, these ten guides? Morning practice. Morning practice. Meditation? Yes. Mm -hmm. How long should she meditate? 
30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Is she able to do that with her job? Yes. Okay, good. Is there anything else that she didn't ask that you would like to tell her at this time? She cannot go deeper if she does not trust herself. Mm-hmm. So this was a good example today of her yes. putting the brakes on? <laughs> She's mm-hmm. very willful. Mm-hmm. She was like, we're not going there. Oh, she has to get out her own way. Mm-hmm. So can we ask her guides to help with that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Put a little bit more self-confidence in, in her and stop her from being a weenie and not going to places where she needs to go? Yes. <laughs> and blocking. And blocking. She's, she was starting to put up walls. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. She blocks a lot. Uh-huh. But can, she would have missed a lot if she wouldn't, if she, she stopped it right there, wouldn't she? Yes. But there's more. Mm-hmm. There's more. Tell her about that. Would it be beneficial for her to have another session at another yes. time when she's not so scared of, of what she's going to see? I heard in Miami. <laughs> ah, good. Well, the weather's Miami? good there. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Yeah, she can come see me there. And when, and when she has a session again, she'll go much deeper. She'll be more trusting. She'll understand the process. And she will also prepare. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. Do you have anything else to tell her today? Not until she's ready. Okay. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Very good. That's weird. My eyes don't feel heavy. <laughs> Did they feel heavy before? Yeah, when I went to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think? I appreciate this. How long do you think you were on this journey? How did it feel? I want to say... What did it feel? See, I'm very analytical. How did it feel? I didn't say what you think. It feels like it was short, but Mm -hmm. I want to say 45 minutes to an hour. (laughs) (laughs) An hour and a half. Wow. Not an expect an hour and a half. Good. Is it good for you? It's good. Excellent. I have to go deeper. I have to like start That's, this. No, you don't. You just have to trust. Trust? That's all. You don't have to go any deeper. You just have to trust in yourself. You didn't even want to see the stuff. It's like I'm seeing the stuff and I don't I want to see it. I don't believe it. I didn't, it's like I didn't want to, like, mm-hmm. it feels like the connection. You need feel like it, it's yours. I didn't feel like it was mine. <laughs> You ever felt that? I didn't. I wasn't talking. You were. <laughs> I, don't I wasn't making this stuff up. I mean, those emotions were real. I think what I know was real in my heart was freedom. Mm-hmm. And that's what you were being shown. And I think that shows up in everything that I do. Yeah, because it was so impactful that everything that you do is like, I'm going to make sure this isn't happening again. And not taking anyone from anyone else's freedom. Exactly. Nice. But is that a real connection? Of course it is. You did great. You're going to be listening to this recording and things are going to be really showing up for you. In the next three days especially, it's going to be really wide open. Okay. And you'll get more answers. Now you know what it feels like to connect with your higher self. Okay. And I just gave you a nice tool to connect even deeper. And And as you practice it, you yourself are going to be bringing yourself deeper and deeper. I know what the vibrations feel like. It's like a yes. low, like a vibrating vibration that goes through my body. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like there's more to the story. Yeah, there is, and that's why you have to do this again because right now they just gave you a little bit of a of a scene, and you weren't ready because it's like you're not trusting. Because you, you know, like because I like love this stuff, and I'm always reading. Yeah, it feels like I'm mixing my stories with someone else's, so I don't trust it. But like, there's certain things like I'll see things. Mm-hmm. Like in my mind's eye, mm-hmm. and then instead of seeing the full image, I would just hear. Yeah, you'll say, "Who's that?" I would say, "Shane." Have like, you ever, have you ever heard of Nefertiti before? No, like Nefertiti. Like I know, like when I think of Egypt, I think of those names from Egypt. Mm-hmm. And have I've, you ever seen a picture of her? No. Okay, we're gonna see it now, so you can see if it's the same person. 
Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. You want to share this or you want to keep it private? I feel like, I feel like there wasn't much. It's okay. You could think about it later. Okay. All right. Let me un disconnect you. So here we are. Yes. We just had a very interesting yes. session, which you doubted everything about. I did. So tell me, what was that? What was that all about? You've watched these videos. Mm -hmm. It was like what the, was the difference? The difference was like when watching someone else. I feel like I trusted them more. <laughs> uh -huh. Just looking at them, listening to their stories. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But for me, like a recurring theme was freedom. Yeah. So I feel like that resonated deeply within mm -hmm. me because I, I, freedom is like number one priority for me. Mm -hmm. Now you know why. I do. Mm -hmm. You took away people's freedom. Yeah. And when you were watching this, I know there was a part where you were like, I don't even want to be here. I don't want to even see this. Yeah. Which is when you realized that you were taking other people's freedom away. And you and were also, it was like a mixture. It was a mixture of taking someone else's freedom away, knowing that I value that and I hold that dearly. Mm -hmm. And also like downing what I saw, like, is this, is this real? Like, why this, would you make that up? I don't know. <laughs> like, why would I make that up? I don't want to want that. Uh huh. I wouldn't have asked for that, but I'm thankful. So I feel like, um, people like me who doubt you need a process to become deeper within yourself, to understand yourself on a different level. Mm -hmm. Because you will always start doubting yourself unless you put yourself in situations or practice or experience it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I feel like I am. And then we had talked about the fact that you didn't know anything about Nefertiti. No. You didn't? Like, I remember the name from Egypt. I remember that, well, I remember Cleopatra. Yes. But when I heard Nefertiti, like, that was clear. But I even feel like, like, like the Nefertiti, when I heard it, is this, did you ever hear like something like from this side? Because I heard it from this side. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Nefertiti. I was like, what? Who am I, Nefertiti? Yeah. But when you... And then what did you look like? It was dressed like like very ornately. It was just like, I just saw like the cape thing that was coming off. It was like a, a, a sheer gold, goldish color. I really love rivers, obviously. Yes, because and water. As, as this duck person. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know, but even when you, I was going to a different life, my mind kept trying to take me back to that life. To which one? The duck? The duck life, which makes no sense. Well, we could do that in a different session to see what it was. You, you were just given a glimpse of it, and you kind of left that life. And mm -hmm. I, I let it be because this one is a ship. It was like, well, let's see what this mm -hmm. one was. And that was important. I just remember looking at my on a ship. I remember just looking at my hands like, oh. I remember getting the feel of a, of a man because I didn't have a mirror that was like looking at myself. Yes. But I had like a... I was staring at my head and just like staring at everyone. It reminds me of like when you listen to music. Sometimes I listen, I think music hypnotizes me. So I listen to music and then like I'll zone out and start seeing images and start seeing other wow. stuff. That's what's happening. So what would you like to say to everybody about this experience? This experience, I feel like everyone needs something very similar to this to tap into yourself. Because if you don't know yourself, you won't know how to really move in the world or operate or know mm -hmm. yourself and why you are the way you are. And this is a great way to, to understand probably things you would doubt, <laughs> <laughs> but it would make so much more sense. Like yeah. looking back onto your life and then, especially when that going forward, if I see something like, oh my goodness, it makes so much more sense now. So. Yeah. So next time you have a session like this, yes. how would you prepare for it? I need to meditate. I know that was a recurring theme as well, like meditate. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to like cleanse myself and ground myself to, to be open to this experience. Yes, yes. Like I was very curious, like I definitely want this, I knew I wanted this experience, but I don't know if I'm like truly ask guidance to like allow me to relax. Like mm -hmm. I didn't set a strong intention. But you were super relaxed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were... You were like falling over before we even started. Because I love like the you the feeling like it really does relax you when you listen to what you're telling me to do. Yes. And then my body just does it. It's like you just melt into <laughs> what your into your suggestion. So it felt like nice to just relax and just like it's just that my mind couldn't relax when it was down. I think meditation will help me relax my mind. Did you feel you were hypnotized? I feel like I was in a like a I wasn't sleep. I was not sleep. <laughs> I was I was aware of what was going on. Mm -hmm. It feels like you're zoning out. 
Like when you're daydreaming. Daydreaming. That's exactly. Yes. It, it feels. That's why it feels so natural to me. Because I'm a daydreamer. Like I like to like just. So it feels natural. <laughs> but yes, it feels like you're daydreaming. Yeah. That's exactly what you feel so like. So that's why you don't trust because. Because and also because like you're like suggesting me like giving me suggestions mm -hmm. and when I'm going through it. It's like if I if I were by myself and I zoned out like oh yeah okay just whatever but because you're here experiencing with me I'm like yeah. is this real so I trust it so it's like sitting next to you in a car while you're daydreaming and me being next to you saying like so what are you what are you daydreaming about yeah and then if I say it to you it's like I guess like I'm doubting myself like oh I'm actually saying it out loud like should I <laughs> <laughs> like should I should I trust it but, uh, you did great yeah thank you, you. Great. thank you for the experience oh, you're welcome so if you want an experience like well. Your own experience. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to have notes this session, you can just go to albawyman.com and um, schedule a session. It's very easy, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. My hug was great. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm.